Hey there, Ultizeta here, and welcome back to my channel, because my upload schedule is very infrequent nowadays, and welcome to a new Let's Play of Title Screen. Welcome to Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. Also, mostly just known as Bug Fables, because everybody tends to ignore the fact that this game has a subtitle, apparently. From what I can tell, whenever I really hear anybody talking about this game, it's always just bug fables. Just bug fables. Nothing else. Apparently whatever this everlasting sa sapling is, it doesn't really matter whatsoever. Anyways, um, if you're not in the know, this is an indie game that made its stride for being a Paper Mario clone. <laughs> That's pretty much why most people know it, I imagine. Because it looked at Paper Mario 64 and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door and was like, these games are fun. Let's make this because Nintendo sure isn't. So they did their own take on it. It's not one-to-one -one recreation, but it is. Well, I've seen screenshots and like small bits of footage. It is a Paper Mario game in all but name, and characters, and some changes from what I've seen, and there will probably be more. I'm hoping there will be more. I don't want this to be just one for one Paper Mario. But at the same time, since Paper Mario is not really doing that kind of thing anyway, it's like, I'm not really going to complain. I can see. How oh, that's changing in the background. Interesting. Okay, well... I'm just, like, exploring. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh, well, these aren't... These are not as many languages as I was expecting to see. But yes. Bug Fables. It is... I've heard a lot of decent things about this game, but I have also somewhat reserved about how much it might take from Paper Mario, so I'm, I'm going into this with as open mind as I can. I have... There are things that I like what I see, and there are things that I don't like what I see. I don't know enough about this game to qualify, because I'm going into this blind. And hopefully you guys will enjoy what I do. Either way... I am looking forward to this, and I think it will be a good thing for me to just kind of experience. Because I have not been recording too much lately, in case you couldn't tell. So I think, I'm hoping that, like, my interest will make this, like, make it fun and interesting. And I haven't done a bit of a longer Let's Play in a while either. Anyways, the land of Bugaria, a peaceful, prosperous place where many adventurous bugs gather. Although it wasn't always that way. Lured by the promise of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons ago. Together with her daughters and fellow ant servants, she established Bugaria's modest first settlement. Her people were happy, the ant kingdom flourished, and yet the queen's dream had still not been fulfilled. For she had heard of an ancient people who safeguarded a treasure of unbelievable power. It was none other than the everlasting sapling? Yes, it was. A plant which would grant unending youth and strength to any who ate even one of its leaves. Oh, so it's the holy grail. I see, I see. She searched and searched and searched. Alas, she never found it. She entrusted her dream to the princess before falling into a hard-earned sleep. Determined to succeed where her mother did not, the new queen rallied the people together under her cause. Opening the doors of the kingdom to bugs of all shapes and kinds, she attracted ambitious and skilled adventurers. Her decree was loud and clear. Find me the everlasting sapling and you shall know wealth like no bug ever has. Why wouldn't somebody who finds it just, like, use it for themselves? <laughs> with this, the Explorers Association was founded, with its many members searching across the kingdom for clues and treasure, even though to this day the sapling has not been found. But every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves. See? 
They want it for themselves. Bugs are selfish. Just like people. Or at least those were the stories I was told in my land. Despite many unfortunate incidents, tales of your people helped me keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu, they are not mere legends, but real history. This Explorers Association and all the explorers who risk their wings for glory are proof of that. Then, Sir Maki, would you consider my earlier offer? Kabu, I respect your passion, but I take missions of the highest danger. An unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. Unproven? Maki, I've bested many hardships in the north. Or so you say. Your knowledge of our culture and your passion for exploring are as true as my blade's edge, Kabu. But I would ask you not to press the issue. This is not the place to call the scene. What? Care to say that again? As I said, we cannot allow children to explore, must, much less snake mouth den. I'm not a kid! So much for that. Would you accompany me, accompany me Kabu? It is my duty to investigate. Hmm? Well, if you insist. Use the thing to talk around, move around. Hello. Eedle. B, lower your voices. What is the matter? This guy is calling me a kid, says I can't explore. Shouting isn't going to change the rules, you child. Shut it, it's not about age, it's about skill. I'm V, the best explorer the hive has ever seen. I'm not some random B. An explorer B. Yeah, I got a problem saying bees can't explore, expected honey and paint. I didn't say that, but... Silence, please. This guild of ours is no place for petty squabbles. Look, I can't just give a permit to some bee, much less without a partner. Team should be a duo of explorers, you know? I'm getting Pokemon Mystery Dungeon vibes. I'm worth like four bees, okay? Hey, V. What do you want? Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit, yet lack a companion. What, do I look that desperate? I don't even know you! I have a promise I must keep, and for that I must explore. How bad could it be? Well, it can't be worse than having to stay put. Deal! Wait, you two are just crazy! You won't last a second at Snake Mouth! I'll prove you wrong! Ellipses? No. You are both most likely mere novices ruled by your strong emotions. I have no doubt that if you left today, you would re return inside a bag. They are really, like, just not saying the word die here, aren't they? Sir Maki, although you outrank me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate me. I went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Hmm, very well, I shall test your resolve. Test us, huh? Who named you the king of this joint? The Ant Queen herself, for she has knighted me as her royal blade. I accept your challenge. V, get ready. Watch your own horn. I was born ready. All right, tutorial time, I guess. I'm daring. I bet I know more stuff than you do. I'll be fine. All right. Press A when the cursor's at the right spot. Okay. Gotcha. I didn't do it right, but. Huh. Did I misread that? It said it hold said it looked like it said to hold up, but I did and nothing happened. Don't let your guard down, V. A guard turn ends the enemies next. Pressing A a bit. Yada yada. Trying to kill us with something? If you can't handle that much, you should surrender. You should bay him back. Use a skill. For attacks, but you select him from the yellow flower. Okay, so again, it's all just Paper Mario. Tosses the Beamerang! Multi-hit move that targets a single enemy. Oh, okay. I don't know any of the action commands is the thing, so that's not even necessarily a I skipped a tutorial thing. That's a I don't know what the action commands are going to be. Hold- oh, is that down? That might be down and not up. Okay, that's down. Understood. Understood, that's down. Okay. I can change the direction in which they order, but I don't seem to be able to move them around. Okay. In 
interesting. That that seems strategic. Right. Oh, that changes. Interesting. Oh, so much for that fight. Such skill with the blade. You pass. What? You performed well enough. I could feel your desire to see the world come through your attacks. I'm no one to keep you from your explorer permit. Edel, you may grant it to them. I get no say in this, huh? But Maki is the Queen's Blade. Here, you can have it. We got a leaf. I did it. Snake Mouth Den is going to be all mine. All riches, all the glory. Snake Mouth Den, it lies to the west of the Association. A simple path, although filled with danger. There is much treasure to be found, but its jaws have claimed many. Maki! Seriously, brother, how long are you going to keep me waiting? My apologies, Kina. V, Kabu, I must be going now. As you can see, duty calls me. May you succeed in your mission. Goodbye. Farewell. What a weird bunch. He ended up causing quite the scene himself, that fighting prowess. How many years of, must he have trained? So, uh, I'm V, I guess. From the hive near the big tree. I am Kabu. I moved in just one moon ago from the north. Cool, indeed. What small talk. Sir Maki said Snake Mouth to the, was to the west, right? Right there, there. We sh should we get moving? Right, yeah, let's go right away. Don't fall behind, okay? Hey, wait, you two. Something wrong? You know what the goal of Snake Mouth Expedition is, right? Nope. What? You go there without knowing anything? It's like asking to perish. Just say it. The goal is to find an ancient artifact that is fabled to be inside Snake Mouth Den. Many tried, but no one ever found it. Most never came back. I don't know what the queen wants with that, but she is very determined to find it. We will find it, don't worry. Yeah, I'm on the case, after all. This is what worries me. Chapter 1! A dysfunctional trio! Because there's going to be a third member. Change the party leader by pressing X. Okay. I'm gonna be the B. Oh, that is a small jump. Alright, so, as you can very cleanly see, if you, like... 2D sprites, colorful world, platforming, turn-based combat, it is it is Paper Mario, in a nutshell. Phew, it's finally done. Sometimes work doesn't stop coming. Who are you again? I'm artist and I keep this place running. Thank you for all your hard work. Kind of a tad too easy. See you a lot like this challenge. Hard mode metal. Boosts enemy strength but gives you more EXP and rewards. These artifacts help you by giving... Oh, they're badges. Okay. I got it. Metal? Okay. Not many stand Maki's blade. The funny thing is that it looked like plastic. <laughs> but I suppose that would... be a big deal when it comes to insects. Okay. Oh. Interesting, very quick transition. Neat. I am definitely going to be comparing this a lot to Paper Mario, because, like, uh, uh, for obvious reasons. So, like, in my head, that's kind of what I'm going through, and so, like... Mentally, like, that's what I'm gonna be comparing it to. So, like... I don't mean it as a slight, I mean it as, like, they're going for a Paper Mario feel, so, like, I'm going to obviously make comparisons. Alright, so, save points are crystals. Okay, so... Snail. Huh. One thing I'm noticing that is kind of weird is, like... If you look at the camera, like, you can kind of see that, like, the characters are much more in a 3D space than I'm used to. It kind of reminds me of, like, more modern Paper Mario, actually. 
Because in the old school Paper Mario games, like, all the characters would always be facing the screen no matter what. It was just kind of like a flat thing. But here, like, you can kind of see, like, they're a little bit slanted all over, all over there on the right, you know? So that's an interesting visual thing. I don't really know how I feel right now about the whole, like, everybody is 2D thing. And the, and the limited sprite thing. We'll, we'll, I'll see how it goes, how, how I get used to it. I'm sure I will get used to it, but th that kind of feels to me like it's almost like a little bit too much like Paper Mario, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I would have preferred just the combat or just the art style, but both is like a little bit like, oh, why are you doing that? That's a little too much, you know? But whatever. It got, the other thing is it got attention for being like this, so I can't necessarily fault it. So long as it really does try and be its own thing at the end of the day, like, I can't really say no. Say, say they did a bad job. It's just like, oh well. Oh. Strategies. Oh, I can do this now, okay. Okay, that's just mean. <laughs> Why is there two of them? Alright. Okay, so I do like that it kind of like shows off which one you're about to hit. Come on! Okay, fine. I want to do this. I really just want to... Why are there three? That's just annoying. That just seems like an unnecessary change as far as tattling is concerned. Tattling already wastes a turn. Like, that's the punishment of using Tattle, is like, you get the thing, but you waste a turn. So, like, adding in stuff like that is just like, why? Doesn't seem like that also killed any health, so that's nice. I wonder if there's any way I can attack from the field. I probably can. Yes, I can. I can do this. I'm getting mushrooms. Uh, I don't know how long this first episode's gonna go, but I'll probably try and make it a little bit... thing because... a little... I'll give it more stuff. Oh. Okay, so... Sh uh, v can't... Uh, wait, why do I have an X2? I get to attack twice? Okay, so that's what the X2 is, but what did I do to cause that? Was that because I stunned it with the boomerang? That's interesting. Probably gonna get a move eventually that lets you attack multiple things. Okay, you need to react really fast in order to actually see how that functions. Uh, like the timing of that. Like, I don't know. Since it's different every single time, it's a, definitely a, more of a reaction test than I'm, ex I'm used to from, like, Paper Mario things. Which is... 
arguably a good thing. So, is that what gives me- yes, that is definitely what gives me the times two. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Fuck you. I can only attack the guy in front. Interesting. So is there super guards in this game? I don't know. I didn't I don't didn't check. I'm going to assume until proven otherwise that yes, and I'll just assume that I'm playing badly. I don't know what I'm doing with the mushrooms. I have this for health. Right, but it doesn't say what they are. I'll probably figure out what they're using later. Well, there's a path to go down there, but who are you? Excuse me, bug of old complexion. Is everything all right? Hey, Kabu, we're supposed to be adventuring. Snake mouth den, endless riches? Sorry, V, I cannot ignore an old bug in distress. First of all, name's Chuck, and I bet I'm younger than both of you. But if you've gotta know... I'm almost done arranging my cozy rest space for travelers going to Snake Mouth Den. I just can't pull out this darn weed! You call this cozy? Chuck, Snake Mouth Den is more dangerous than rain on a wedding day. What? Look, will you help me or not? I'm not doing any pulling, at least not for free. And watch this, but if I press B near small bushes or rocks... I use cut, it's super effective. Like this is no match for my horn. Well, V, you actually helped me. This made my week. You got a reward ready, right? But V, helping others is already its own reward, and you didn't do anything. It's really, really not. No worries. Helpful bugs deserve gratitude. I ain't got much, but please take this. Ten berries. Berries. So many berries. Oh, they're coins. Okay. Okay. So that's what the berries are. Alright, so do I go that way or this way? Where are you going? Snake mouth is through the northwest? Uh, yeah, I knew that. I like how he- I like how I made him the party leader and then he turned around to go say that to V. He clearly knows what he's up, what he's doing. Honey drop. Makes you happy, but also fat. Okay, well, uh... I've been recording for 24 minutes. And I'm also doing this recording before I get dinner. So, I probably should not be sticking around too long. So next, how about, how about we end here? So next time on Let's Play, uh, Bug Fables, I get around to doing more than just the basic tutorials. <laughs> I don't know, it seemed fun so far. I mean, here's the thing, Paper Mario is fun, so like I was always expecting this to be fun. I want to know more about the characters or world, and I've I've been I've been seeing this game around for about a year now, so like I, I just want to know what it's all about, and so yeah. Any criticism that I may have in the end of the day are not going to mean that this is going to be a bad game. And so far, really, my only criticism is still just the one that I saw from the beginning, and is just that oh, it's v a little bit too Paper Mario-y, but also for some, that's not even a bad thing. So whatever. Either way, next time on Let's Play Bug Fables, The Everlasting Sapling, 
Uh, we're gonna go to Beach Cave or whatever. I don't know, I'm still on a PMD vibe from all this guild stuff and adventuring. Exploration team. We're team berries, you know? With fruit, grapes, all that stuff. 